what's going on guys a new project that we just got today 12 foot v-bottom john boat i'm gonna be turning it into a little bass boat here pretty good shape it's just really dirty right now I think we're gonna have a lot of fun fixing this thing up, taking it out on the water. A trailer too. It needs some work, painted and everything. Grind all that rust off and paint it up and should be good to go. Got brand new tires on it. So this thing is gonna be awesome. New lights. This thing's gonna be a really fun project. Today we just washed it. We took off some of the brackets for for the um, the wood. The wood so when you slide the boat on like that, that whole thing we took off that whole wood bracket. And then this is a new two by four that we might use. So we just took off a bunch of bolts and took off the the trailer winch up here. Took that off. Gonna get a new one. The old one was broke. We were just taking off a bunch of bolts and we're gonna get new bolts for everything. And we're just getting it ready to paint. We're gonna we just got it ready for so it's easier to paint. We want to get the trailer done first. Get that all registered. Get that all finished up and then we're gonna we would start on the boat that's our plan so today we're gonna be working on the trailer here we're gonna be grinding down all the rust and we're gonna be painting it with black paint kbs paint if you watched my any of my camper videos I coated the underside of the camper as, with KBS as well. And so I think our plan is here, get this all ground down to metal, paint it with the KBS, and then we're going to go over it with um, Rust-Oleum black paint because that's what we did on the front of the camper. And it held up really nice because the KBS, it does fade in the sun. For the little time we had that paint on the camper it already faded so we ended up doing a top coat with the rust-oleum and it, and it looks beautiful so i think this is what we're going to do with the whole trailer here just grind it down with the wire wheel paint up the the wheels and get her looking all nice guys so i've been wire wheeling for a while now still got some spots to do but that's what she's looking like just bare metal still got to do the fender or uh yeah the fenders here the other side looks a little better but i still gotta get the little wire wheel get all the nooks and crannies she's looking better than she did the back the underneath here but yeah she's looking pretty good keep on working at her all right guys so here is it all ground down as far as i'm willing to go with it 
It looks pretty good. I mean, there's still a little rust, but we still have a little touch up to do before we paint it. And my dad's gonna take off the wheels and do the wheels. And then we have a spare tire rim right here that he's gonna clean up and paint. Other than that, I got the fenders all cleaned up down the bare metal. And we're gonna paint this tomorrow, hopefully. What we gotta do is um, go over it one more time, get all the flash rust off, and then degrease it, wash it off, and then let it dry, and then paint it. This is what I use to wire wheel the whole thing. Just a grinder with some wire wheel heads, and then I use this drill with wire wheels as well. Alright guys, so today is painting day. Got it all degreased right now. Well first, this morning I hit it with the wire wheel one last time to get all that flash rust off. And then it is soaking in the degreaser right now. I'm gonna wash it off and then let it dry and then we're gonna paint. Here we got the trailer, KBS painted, top and bottom. Did the top yesterday, did the bottom today. And it looks really nice. Looking forward to putting on that Rust-Oleum top coat on here. It'll look really good. Fenders all painted up. So for the wheels, I spray painted them black few coats and then I did a clear coat so they're done and then I also took off the hubs we're gonna get new bearings new seal for that re-grease it one of them was really rusty so I also did that we're gonna be getting new bearings and seal and then new um uh what you call it? the caps on the outside with the greaser we're gonna get a new one of those. All right, guys. So we got the first top coat of Rust-Oleum on. I'm sure you guys can't really tell, but we put a, another coat, a top coat of Rust-Oleum on, and all we gotta do is flip it over, do the other side, and then. We're all done painting it, and then we can start putting it back together. Really exciting. Been, been getting the bearings and stuff in that we got. We're just waiting on the seals, and then we can put the wheels back on and all that. All right, so we finally got all the parts in. Got our two seals, four bearings, new cotter pins, everything's cleaned up. Got the hubs all painted up, sorta nice. And greased on the inside so they didn't rust while we're waiting for the parts. And we got some new bearing buddies that we're gonna put on the outside. Um, and then yeah, so we're gonna be putting on the wheels tonight, pretty excited.
All right, guys, we got the wheels on. All the bearings back together. It's a little dirty right now because it just rained last night. Got the bearing buddies on and all the bearings in sealed. Looks really good. Everything is, is perfect on it. This one looks good. This one's a little cleaner. That's how the wheels turned out. But yeah, I didn't want to bore you guys putting all everything on back together because that's you can look up YouTube videos showing you how to do that but yeah that's, that's just how it turned out for us and today we're going to be putting on the fenders the trailer lights here and then the winch up here so we're getting stuff put back together here slowly this is what it's looking like right now So this is the trailer winch that we got. Got it from Amazon. Putting, it's pretty nice for the for the money. Got a nice nylon strap. It'd be nice to pull it out of the water when you got heavy motor on it. I mean, you don't need anything too heavy duty. I think it's only like 1,200 pound capacity. So yeah, this is like perfect for pulling up our little boat. And then we got these submergible lights, for, I think from Advanced Auto. Just installed the, the winch. Looks really good. Holes lined up perfectly on the trailer. We just used two bolts that we had around the house in our bolt collection and bolted it on. And bolted it on there. So that's what she's looking like. This is what she's looking like right now. Got the hardware on and everything. <clears throat> Got our two by four that we had that we have picked out. Cut it at five foot. Those are just the uh, extra stuff that we cut off from to make it five foot. Put the winch on here, and then we put the lights on. And ran the wire and everything because we had an old wiring harness from our old trailer. And the lights did not work because I don't know what happened, but the lights would not work. We did everything, tried everything, but we figured out that we just needed new lights. So we ended up getting these right here. And it comes with a new trailer harness. So hopefully those will work and we're going to be putting them on pretty soon here. And then we got um, some car a carpet runner, heavy duty, it's got rubber on the back. We're going to wrap the 2x4s in that, protect the boat a little bit so it slides on easier and all that. But yeah, this is what we've been working with here. Those lights, we've been troubleshooting all day pretty much trying different things not all day but most of the day we've been trying to troubleshoot that kind of stuff <clears throat> got the fenders on we got um eye bolts right there to um strap the boat down when we have it on the trailer but yeah this is what she's looking like I'm trying to get the lights installed tonight
we got boards wrapped in the carpet here in the front everything's on pretty much that was original that's what it's looking like we put the boat on and adjusted everything so the boat sits perfectly on here this is what it looks like with the lights on the back it looks super good looks brand new still got a little bit more work to do paint the bolts that we put on and then we got this to put on we got a trailer jack bolt on trailer jack and then we got a spare spare tire carrier here we're gonna mount those and should be almost complete so we ran the wires <clears throat> all the way through this channel here goes through this channel and then it splits off either side here and then it runs in the channel right here and we put it in uh, a tubing a little bit of a tubing to protect the wires to go to the back made our connections back here and then this is what this side looks like same thing ran in the tubing all the way up to the front and it, I think it turned out really good we had to take out the old wiring harness that we had on here and put the new one in so and we tried everything out everything works and then in the, on the front here we had an old appliance hose that we shoved the wires through to protect them. And then the ground is just on the outside. Zip tied to the outside. This is the new connector here. But yeah, this is an old appliance hose. If you guys are thinking of protect your wires, that's a way we did it. We fit how many wires? One, two, three, four, five wires in there. And then it just, it gets stubbed. It stops right here. You just, we stubbed it in there. But that's how we did the, to connect to the truck there. But yep, yeah, this is what she's looking like right now. Everything's solid. This is what the boat looks like on the trailer. Everything is real nice. The rollers work real nice on it. This is what she's looking like. Really sturdy. It's a little off in the back here. There we go. That's what she looks like in the back. All real nice. Everything adjusted perfectly. But yeah, that's what she's looking like. So guys, this is the final product of the trailer here. Real exciting. And so glad we got this thing done. Painted all the bolts on it so it's all finished up. We got the spare tire put on up here. And everything is all finished up. There's the spare tire we got. Everything's on that we need. Everything works. So this is amazing. Really excited to get the boat on the water here soon.